I've just heard what Tesla's planning to do in the first quarter of next year at the Gigafactory in Texas, and frankly, I'm pretty shocked. The run rate that they're aiming for in the first quarter is way higher than what I expected it to be. If they can hit that, then I would be amazed. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for subscribing. It really helps with the algorithms on the channel to make sure that more people get to see our videos. Appreciate your support with that. Tesla is planning a massive ramp up in the first quarter of 2023, but it sounds like they're actually planning to do that ramp up now in order to be able to produce these kinds of numbers that I'm hearing that they plan on producing. They plan on delivering 5,000 cars per week on average for the entire quarter, the first quarter of 2023. That's pretty astounding. That would mean they are going for a run rate of 300,000 vehicles. 300,000 run rate for the first quarter of 2023. I'm actually kind of shocked to hear that. It seems like we're going from 1,000 vehicles a week to 5,000 vehicles a week. Um, that's quite that's quite a big number. Now, to actually achieve that, as obviously it's not going to happen in January, right? Tesla's very unlikely to actually deliver 5,000 vehicles per week from the Gigafactory in Texas in January, then you would think what they need to do is to deliver more than that number by the time we get to March. Is it realistic that the demand is there? Well, obviously it is. There's no question because if Tesla has enough demand right now to sell as many cars as they are now in the US, imagine when the federal tax credit actually applies to their cars next year. There's going to be insane amount of demand for Tesla vehicles in the United States next year. I think that we're going to see that whole thing, Tesla's losing market share, they're losing market share. I think that narrative is going to change pretty drastically next year once they qualify for those tax credits, for those federal tax credits. For the IRA credits, it's going to change that scenario. But also, what's going to change that scenario is more cars being produced that are perceived to be the newer model coming from the Gigafactory in Texas. It's all a bit kind of under wraps though right now. Tesla has been keeping people updated, well, keeping all of us updated on its progress at the Gigafactory in Berlin, which is now producing 2,000 Model Y vehicles per week. But the automaker has been ramping up its production at Gigafactory Texas while not saying a whole lot about what it's actually doing there. I'm curious to know why they're not saying much about what's going on at the Gigafactory in Texas. And I'm, I'm actually wondering if there's a reason. I mean, are they focusing on other things? Are they focusing on Cybertruck production? Are they focusing on something else? I think they are. Tesla confirmed the production rate of 1,000 Model Y vehicles back in June, and it confirmed having produced its 10,000th Model Y in September. But the company never confirmed the production rate of 2,000 units per week, for the Gigafactory in Texas, like it did for the Gigafactory in Germany. However, Tesla is feeling extremely confident about their production ramp at Gigafactory Texas. And apparently insiders are saying they're aiming to deliver 75,000 vehicles over the first three months of 2023. Now, obviously that would make them hit a run rate of 300,000 vehicles per year. But you would imagine they're going to continue to ramp up. They're not, they're not going to just go, oh, three, that's enough. 300,000 is enough. We're going to just stop there. I think they're going to hit a run rate of potentially 400,000 by the end of next year from the Gigafactory in Texas, but also be producing the Cybertruck there as well. But I think a lot more is going to be happening at that factory. You've got to think about this, right? It's literally twice the size of the factory in Fremont. Twice the size. And that factory in Fremont is producing Model X, Model S, Model 3, and Model Y. So it seems to me unlikely that Tesla's just going to make the Model Y and the Cybertruck from the Gigafactory in Texas. I think they actually plan on making the Model 2 from that factory. Yeah, seriously, the Model 2. I believe Tesla's much further ahead on development of that car than they've let on. It's sort of like promise less, deliver more. I think that's what they're planning to do. So 5,000 units per week is generally Tesla's goal for volume production. And that's where Tesla wants to be with the Model Y at Gigafactory Texas before it moves full on to Cybertruck production, says Electric. Now, apparently there has been some cancellations for Tesla vehicles in the third quarter. So within, say, the last month, maybe the last 
two months potentially in the United States because, well, people want the $7,500 tax credit, so they want to order again next year, start of next year. And it could also be there's a belief that there could be some newer, better features coming out next year as well. So the combination of those two things means apparently there's been some cancellations. Can't confirm if that's true, of course. It's possible. I mean, it would make sense that there would be. Who knows? I don't really think that's relevant, though. There will be some cancellations, but whatever cancellations there are, I imagine those people would have just would just replace an order back when it comes to the 1st of January. But that could mean there'll be a fair few cars in inventory by the end of the quarter. So what's that going to mean for Tesla's share price? Well, people might perceive that there's a lack of demand for Tesla vehicles. I think that's ridiculous considering the fact that right, Tesla has been dealing with this situation of having no tax credit, no $7,500 credit for the last, what, more than a year, year and a half. The competition for the most part has had access to that credit. They've had a $7,500 US dollar disadvantage, been no demand issues then. And now all of a sudden they're going to have this credit. Other automakers won't have the credit. I really see the demand for Tesla's cars in the US skyrocketing next year. I'm actually really excited as well. I'm excited to see these vehicles being built from Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas. I think, you know, these 4680 cells, I think Tesla is neutering those packs a little bit. I reckon that at some point we're going to see a software update next year. And it's going to give these cars much more potential, more range, more performance potentially as well. That's happened in the past. We know that's happened. Either way, Tesla is working on something at Gigafactory Texas. And I think that aside from Cybertruck and Model Y, they're working on another vehicle. Not saying they're working on producing it. I think they're just working on getting ready for when the Model 2 comes out in the US, which I think will actually happen in 2024. Not that far away. I could be wrong. Let's wait and see. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.